next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Boris Chibaya. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Uh, Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Back to the feet. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that land, he wants you to feel it. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Good, solid strike on the ground. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Real sneaky body kick. Just misses there with the left. Shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that 
that will finish the fight. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom, nicely done by Burns. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut range. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds an option. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go with round two. Well, you saw us reference at the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh! Nice one-two combination there. Oh, that kick is good by Burns. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, and he connects the... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Side control now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is... Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, hammer fist here by Burns. Now he covers up as the hammer fists are coming. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Burns. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that puts the finish, continue the game. Oh, there you see it. One more of those. He can I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Seconds winding down in round two. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, let's check out some of the action DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. 
Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. strikes here. Oh. Oh. the Octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 22 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Gilbert Durinho! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.